What's up guys, it's the one and only, and first and foremost, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me reach 1,000 subs. That's actually so cool to think that there are a thousand people in the world that don't actually hate me. But, you know, I'm gonna make you hate me now. As a normal person in society, albeit a boyishly cute one, people have a tendency to ask me, Hey! Hey, hey Dickie! What TV shows do you watch? I don't really watch that much television, but for the most part, my go-to shows are Adventure Time and Steam Universe. 99% of the time, when people hear this response, it usually goes something like this. No! Those, no, those are kids shows! They're just cartoons! I mean, like, real people shows, adult shows! <sighs> Let's just set this straight now. Just because something is a cartoon doesn't mean it isn't a real show, or that adults can't enjoy it. Although, I mean, technically, I don't really count myself as an adult, I'm more just like legally so one, it's just, it's fine, don't worry about it. But cartoons are like, amazing. They can have fun and be stupid, or tell a complex story in the span of like, 15 minutes. Each cartoon has its own unique style, just by watching one frame you can tell one show from another. Obviously, that's like, not every cartoon. Shh, no! We won't speak of that one! Like any television show or movie, cartoons let you escape to another world where there are no rules or laws that has to follow besides the ones that is already created for itself, which for some reason always make perfect sense. Oh, you shoot fire over your hands. Sure, yeah, that's, that's normal. Now before we go on, I just want to make this clear, we're not talking about anime, because like, that's its own beast in itself. It's a whole different art form, and more importantly, the neckbeards are just going to get angry at me if I do that, and like, I just... I just don't want to have them angry at me, it's just like, I just don't want that. I'm going to explain what I mean using one of my favorite shows, Adventure Time, which is like, amazing. And if you disagree, you're wrong and you need to feel terrible about yourself and your life choices and your taste in just like, everything, just everything. I'm sorry, I just, I just, I really like Adventure Time. Now, I know what you're going to say, oh wow, a video about Adventure Time? No one's ever done that. Well, I just, like, can you just, okay? Heads up for all of you, I'm gonna do my best to keep this spoiler free. This isn't kind of like theory or extreme breakdown. It's more of an explanation video of why this show rocks my socks. Yeah, I said rocks my socks. Rocks. My. Socks. So Adventure Time, right? It's a show about two rad dudes, Finn the Human and his best friend, Jake, who's this orange dog who can stretch into all different shapes and sizes and it's totally normal and not even remotely weird. And they go on all these crazy adventures around the land of Ooh and no, it's not what it's about. It's a complex layered show that conveys emotions and philosophical ideas about life and shit's insane. Also, there's a Gunter in it, so like, no goons. But seriously, when I say this show presents like complex emotions, happiness, depression, love, insanity, loneliness, and you're probably going, eh. And you're probably going, great, awesome, shows do that all the time. And you're right, obviously we see Finn going through many of these growing pains in life, going from a mathematically <laughs> rad kid to more of a young adult that he's now. I've never watched a show that's like made a main character seem so relatable as Finn is to me. It's insane! It's crazy! I love it! The way they write the world around him, he deals with so many real life situations that the show presents in a creative way that you wouldn't know if you were a kid watching it. But as an adult, you're like, remember that! Dealing with your first crush, your first breakup, puberty, how about dealing with living up to expectations of others? Oh. Discovering who you are? The guy went on multiple journeys to find out who his parents are and the best part was the realization that no one can tell him who he is. He has discovered that himself. That's like, that's deep, man. That's deep, man. That's deep, man. That's deep, deep man. man. Little eight-year-old me would be like, this is entertaining. But 16 year old me was like, I understand things now. I understand everything. But that's not even the best part about the characters. Because like, the best characters are all the side characters. I don't know a show that can create episodes around side characters and not make it feel like filler. Watching characters like Bimo, Lemongrab, or Marceline react to the world and their views on life, and the main characters, it, it's just, it's incredible. A lot of the best episodes come from the stories of these side characters. Remember how I said these shows are layered with complex emotion and themes? Well you better, because this is the part when I'm talking about them and like... Wait, hold on, just like... Perfect. Right now! Let's go with one of the first episodes with Marceline. It came from the Nidosphere. Probably one of the most memorable things about this episode is the song. Daddy, why did you eat my fries? I bought them and they were mine. Don't worry, we'll talk about the songs from the show in like a hot sec. Like Flame Princess hot sec. Like Flame Princess getting angry and causing an inferno hot sec. We'll just um, yeah. This whole episode has to do with the toxic relationship between Marceline and her father. Now, as a kid, you watch this and you're like, Dad shouldn't take their daughter's fries, that's mean! You see, something is off about their relationship from this song. As a teenager or an adult, you realize, Oh my god, this isn't specifically about fries! 
it's, it's, it's a metaphor for the relationship. This is the first episode in season two, and to be honest, it sets the whole tone, in my opinion, for the rest of the series. It's not that the first season isn't good, but it was way too Cartoon Network-y. It was all about having fun and being stupid, which isn't bad, but isn't what made the show great. You can't make a show great again with just that stuff. Okay. It's the way they present difficult topics such as dealing with parental issues, the awkwardness of dealing with them and trying to talk to your parents about them, but the show makes it relatable without you knowing how much you relate to it without being in your face with it. It's insane a lot! Just like another Marceline episode, Memory of a Memory. I'm not trying to talk about just Marceline only, I know you're gonna like get your panties in a wad about this, but like, while I do love her along with most of the fandom, she just habitually has the best episodes written about her. Or she's in them, regardless. I'm hurting you because I love you. Now this episode is about Marceline's ex-boyfriend, Ash, weaseling his way back into her life by tricking Finn and Jake into helping him. Our heroes eventually figure out a way to fix everything because that's what friends do. Now the first time I watched this, I was too young to understand what a toxic relationship was. I just assumed Ash was a bad guy because that's what this show does. But in reality, it taught me what to look for when growing up and meeting new people. You'll meet bad people and not know it because you're in love. Now, I know you can't see me, but I'm totally air quoting so hard right now. But it shows us what to look for in a toxic relationship, how to get out of them and remember why we left them to begin with. A lot of times with the help of our friends who always have our back and can help us recognize the problems when we can't. Another great concept of a complex issue that is delivered in a simple format that is completely relatable. When you normally watch an episode with side characters mostly, it feels like like a, honestly, it feels like a throwaway episode. But the ones in Adventure Time seem to be the deepest ones. And I like to think it's because we may not all be able to relate to the main characters in a show, but sometimes relate more to the side ones. Maybe I'm not Finn. Maybe I'm more like Cinnamon Bun. Hey, don't you knock Cinnamon Bun. There's a reason Flame Princess keeps him around. Another important thing to remember is, did you, Never mind. Another important thing to- girl, I know I'm not just hearing things Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about the music! You ever have shows that have songs in them that are completely unnecessary and annoying? Adventure Time doesn't do that. Whenever they actually have a song in their show, it's to help move the story along. Or to pull emotions out that only music can evoke. For me, there's a very fine line between having music in a show to benefit it, and having music in there just to have it in there. I think this is mostly due in part to Rebecca Sugar because she also does a great job with this in Steam Universe. But this isn't about that show, that's for another time. My absolute favorite song is Everything Stays. It's so simple, but just give me a second. You finally find it. You'll see how it's faded. The I need to contemplate my existence in the universe. You mean the Steven universe? <laughs> Sorry, I just can I turn out real fast? Isn't it so cool when we go back in time for the episodes to learn about Ice King being Simon and how he got to be how he is with a little Marceline there too? Or when they introduced the Lich King and it's the first time in the show the stakes are actually really raised? Yo, I love when they do different kinds of animations in Adventure Time. I don't know any other show that does that. Or how about the Demon Cat from season one with approximate knowledge of many things? I really like saying that. I feel really guilty, but I'm a huge Magic Man fan. He's a dick and it's hilarious. Chick has kids, which is awesome. And they're all so cool. I really ship Finn and Huntress Wizard. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to let that out. Adventure Time sets up this crazy world in the land of Uth that you never questioned when you started watching in the beginning. With its candy kingdom, random talking animals, crazy ice king, Gunter. Seriously though guys, Goonts. Of all history's greatest monsters, you are by far the most evil thing I've encountered. Offer your soul to me, Dark One. <laughs> but it makes you reach this point where you ask, wait, how did we get here? The best part is the show actually tells you. You learn about the characters, their backgrounds, how the world got to be the way it was. I could like, talk about this show forever. It's great. It has everything. You want a funny episode? It's there. You want a sad emotional one? Adventure Time has it. You want one questioning your reality and what makes up a person? Really? Like, really? Like, you know I'm gonna say there isn't. Like, I'm not gonna bring something randomly up that's not in this show. Seriously, just like, watch the show. Whether you're a small child or adult, I promise you, you will get immense entertainment out of this. Because the key to good television is to tell an in-depth story, while constantly developing plots and subplots through the characters. And honestly, not many shows do it better than Adventure Time, even if it's just a cartoon. So if you like this new thing, whatever it is, let me know, because I had a lot of fun making this, and I know the people who helped me had even more fun, and they're totally not giving me death stares right now as we speak. <laughs> It's really fun making something you're really passionate about, and Adventure Time's one of those things, along with a bunch of other cartoons. I'd honestly love to make more episodes with shows like Steven Universe, Teen Titans, 
Even Dragon Ball Z, who knows? But if you didn't like it, why did you... Why did you watch it all the way to the end? Chunky yeah. soup! No, I don't think Chunky's even in here. Chunky. Wow, I... So... I wrote... I'm stupid. I'm a... I'm just a stupid, stupid bitch. Sorry. <laughs>